Lanier, who really started to come on down the stretch last night with that big sweeping hook of his. He was very tough for the Cavaliers to defend against now. Shooting. Who has picked up the Detroit offense considerably since the trade with Buffalo that brought him here. And so it is now a 6 to 4 game. Cleveland has the lead. Shoemate goes right to the hoop, and John Shoemate muscles his way into the lane to get the bucket. That's what happened when you penetrate. You had the penetration by Money, creating a situation. Shoemate to the hoop. You look for him, the open pass. Give the credit to Money. He will dance with the ball and then put that real quick first step on and just shoot into the lane and take the little jump shot as he just did. He is just getting better all the time. He's not big. He's only six feet tall. Here's Shoemate, and he out hustles Steve Walker to the game, gets the ball to shoot to Eric Money, and Money says, John, you got the ball, you take the shot, and Shoemate knocks it down. Well, that's good sense, that's good play. Shoemate knew the fast break was cut off, had a little patience, got himself in position for the jump shot, and scored. Walker and Frazier are doing it. Frazier got double teamed that time, knew it, instinctively passed off to Walker, and he hit the open man for the field goal. Jones has seven, Walker has six, Frazier has eight. Now Shoemate gets an easy one inside. He has eight points for the Detroit Pistons. ML Carr takes a look inside. He is shut off by Campy Russell. Kicks the ball out to Ford. Cleveland playing a tight switching defense. Shoemate down low. Working harder. If at first you don't succeed. And John Shoemate on a second try gets his sixth field goal. He has 12. How important is offensive rebounding? It shows the show. You got to go for that second effort. Because every ball will not go in. And John Shoemate is exactly that. Now he will go up for the shot. He will anticipate his rebound. He will feel where the other player is. It's missed. He'll get the inside position. Nobody boxes him out. And he goes up for the hoop. Beautiful play by the guy from Shoemate. Right back the other way. A little bit sloppy as they turn the ball over. Starting to look like a track meet out there. John Lambert shoots. Doesn't get it done. And here comes Detroit on the fly. We welcome those of you who have joined us here in Detroit. The Pistons are in white, the Cleveland Cavaliers in the maroon and gold. The score is Detroit 79, Cleveland 77 with a minute to go in the third quarter. It has been a back and forth game. 106, 106 to the end of regulation. Lanier has scored 39 points. Campy Russell leads the Cavaliers with 31. Shoemate drills it. And Detroit leads by two. The intensity is like a playoff game. Shoemate back outside as they play perimeter basketball. The game clock is down to 11 to Lanier. Campy Russell against him. No foul. Off to John Shoemate. Rejected, but there's a foul with one second left. John Shoemate goes to the free throw line. And that last pass that Jim Jones missed thrown from Campy Russell, a total gamble. He tried to get the fast break going. Unfortunately, it was just out of the reach. It could have been had, it could have been made, but it wasn't. And there's the last play, the last foul on John Shoemate. And this will wrap it up. So one second left, and John Shoemate goes to the free throw line. John Shoemate so far in the game has scored 19 points. Lanier, the high man in the game with 39. Eric Money has scored 22. He had 12 in the first half. Douglas has seven. Skinner has 12. And John Shoemate just put the game on ice. Detroit cannot lose if they just walk off the court when Cleveland inbounds the ball. Shoemate getting set. Campy Russell with a magnificent game for the Cavaliers. He scored 35 points. Jones had 24. Frazier, 18. And now. Cleveland calls timeout, and that only delays the inevitable. They have two chances to win, slim and none.